Surf Training Factory and today I'm going to show you how to wax a surfboard when there is no wax on it because it is different when you don't have wax on and when you already do have wax. So what we're going to do, I picked the Sticky Bumps Warm Tropical and it actually depends on where you live and how cold the water is where you're going to surf. So for me, I'm in Florida so it's above 69 Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius but there is cold water wax for lower um, temperatures. I just can't have it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out. I take the block out. And you can, some surfers break it in half. I don't, I don't really care. Um, before you wax, and if you want to put it on the floor, I have it on my lap. But if you want to put it on the floor, you would have to remove the fins. So, just so you don't scratch them and, you know, make them really bad. So... But I have it on my lap so the fins aren't touching. What we're going to do is we're going to start waxing diagonally um, from left to right. And then we're going to go from the other side right to left. And I'm going to stop right about here because that's where my stand stops. And you'll figure that out once you start surfing. So here it goes. You make the first line straight. And yes, it's not going to get everywhere, but don't worry about it for now. And then you start diagonally slowly and make sure that you get the um, corner of it that's how I like to do it you don't have to go all the way to the rail there's lines of your surf on your surfboard that kind of tell you where to stop and where to go all the way through and you can get the little spots that are still white but I wouldn't worry about them until we're actually done with the wax. So now we're doing from left to right. And then after I'm done with that, we're gonna go from right to left over it and it's gonna make like a, a nice pattern. And it's gonna make the wax pretty. I like pretty wax. Okay, so I finished from left to right and I went diagonal. And kind of like what I did in here, I had to do a straight line. I kind of did the same thing here. I drew a straight line and then went over it. Now we're going to do from right to left. It's easier for me to switch the side of my board, so I'm going to do that real fast. And now I'm going to go from right to left all the way through, and it's going to overlap this um, section that I already did, and it's going to be looking kind of like squares, kind of like a plaid shirt, but diagonally, diagonally, and um, you'll see. It looks really nice, and it makes it pretty. So I go to the other side, from right to left and kind of like the same thing here it's a straight line and then I go over it right to left makes it nice and pretty and it makes it nice and sticky too for your feet not to get away from the board Just like I said here, do a straight line. If you want to do little diagonals, that's fine too. It's the same motion. Okay, so now that we did from left to right and right to left, it looks like this. And now to make sure that you have extra stickiness, we're just gonna do little circles. And that's how you would wax your surfboard when there's already wax on it. So you just do little circles all around and do a little more where your feet are. So for me, my feet are here and here. So I usually add a little more wax to those spots so that I have more grip. But you just do little circles all around. there you have it your surfboard is waxed and make sure that you do wax your surfboard probably before every session that's what we usually do just little circles if you don't think you need it then awesome and we'll see you in the line